Hi, creative boys and girls. It's your favorite neighborhood Bosa man. <laughs> so like, this is not like this is not a tutorial. This is just a rant. Like so, I spent last week just trying to I had an idea. Like I found a plugin called Fire Scatter plugin. It's free on Gumroad. I'll post the link in the description below of this video. And um, I came. Up, I just had this idea to create a scene where there's this mysterious man, silhouette of a mysterious man watching a car burning. So it just begs to the question like. Did he is he burning his car? Is he getting rid of evidence? Has he killed somebody and is he destroying k k burning the car with the person? You know, like this, I just want to just create a mystery with the mystery guy watching the car burn and then smoking, you know. So I spent my whole time creating using the free um fire scatter plugin. It also has a vegetation plugin I'm with it too. And then I also got a dust particle plugin I got from um, Blender Asset Market. I'll put the link in the description below too. And the character create this character is a 3D character creator so, um, um, asset. I created it in, in a software called Character Creator made by Reillusion. It's a really powerful software, but it's paid for. It's not free, right? So it has an iClone, a sister software called iClone that you can now create your character in CC, and then you take that character to iClone and animate. Those two softwares make character, 3D character creation and animation very easy. Like, if you really want to start pushing out content and you know you're a small company or a one-man a woman army, like, just go with character creators. To, to, it will just save you stress on characters. But I digress, right? So that's what made the scene. And then the environment is Sketchfab, right? So I spent, go through all this, save time through, put all these things together. The scene is amazing. I hit render button, Bender crashes. So um, my system is not the biggest system in the world. It's an i7, 32 gig RAM, 6 gig Nvidia G RTX GPU. So yeah, and this is EV by the way. I dare not even try cycles because the system is just going to fry, right? <laughs> so I, I'm so annoyed. I'm so pained. I've gone through a whole week of trying to set up this thing, and now I'm not going to see the final. I was so pain, so I said, you know what? Let me try. Let me go to Unreal. I already have Unreal skills, but you know what? I use Unreal. I don't know. I just kind of push Unreal in the back burner because I use Unreal strictly just to make movies renders, short movie renders. I don't make games in Unreal because I I, I don't really I, I prefer to make games in Unity. I don't think I have the brain right now to start learning. I'm trying to learn Blueprint, but it's not the priority right now. But anyways, I digress once again. But anyway, so this is my rant. I can't see, I can't render. So I said, let me try Unreal. And long story short, so long story short, this is what I came up with. Like, this is what I came up with. Same assets, same cars, and then both the Unreal Fire and Sketch for um, Quixel Megascan environments. Uh, that's the difference. So um, if you're new to Unreal, Unreal has like a, a, a platform called Quixel Megascan. They acquired it. And... Those guys give you high fidelity 3D assets like scan from real world. So I use that to just play some of this around the scene, did some lighting tricks, two cameras, brought in the same car from Sketchfab. I'll put the link in the description below. Use Unreal Free Fire I found in the marketplace. And if it's a free fire, I'll put the link in the description below too. And the same character. And this is all happening in real time. Hi quality real time and I can view my stuff and when I try to render and after setting up the scene when I go to hit my I, this is what I got same computer and two different softwares later I got something like without even trying like I just put it together I've not really done the lighting and this is just what I got this is just half the scene and it looks amazing out of the box like so like my rant is just please try to invest in learning a real time tool like on real engine or unity they will save you worlds of heart when it comes to project just imagine if i didn't have an real knowledge and i have to start thinking of ways to what would i do like i, I, I can't change my computer but like this is all the only computer i have and but on real engine was able to help me out and it's really really it's free so guys, I'm not saying, like, Blender will always be the main tool for me when it comes to 3D. A lot of things I can do better than Unreal. But when it comes to rendering, lighting, and, you know, setting up a scene quickly, I think Unreal just, like, kind of beats Blender hands down. Man, this is so 
it's just something I just want to share with you guys. It's, it's try to learn like Unreal Engine. If you know you're trying to make a movie, uh, Unreal Engine is just the way to go. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks.